So I've got a stretch voxel here, and the way to make this so the whole thing is yours is to do the following. I want you to take this shape out. I'm going to copy the shape out of the middle. Everyone grab a copy of it, and we're going to put voxel putty. You're going to put your own voxel putty around the corners of that voxel. And you'll end up with little dented in white blocks sitting on the corner, on all, all the corners of it. And then we're going to take those corners off, put them somewhere else. You're going to put putty in it, and it's going to be yours. There are faster ways, but I believe they're hacks, so I'm not going to tell everybody what to do <laughs> and get a lot of people in trouble. Alright, so I'll start doing it here on mine so you can see. Oh, Should be able to just grab some here. I think the ground goes down a little bit further. Yeah, I was trying to grab from the walls of there. Right yeah, I went like straight up to the wall. So you just go ahead and put it here on the corner, and what you're actually doing is making a reactor. Oh no! They are not scary. It's just a way to show what the corners of that shape are doing to the air around them. All right, and once you've got your corners put on, you're going to put it down once, mirror on the green axis, and bring it down two spaces. So you have basically the same layout here, over here. And then you're going to put, I need to redo my templates, you're going to put another blob of voxel putty right in the middle, and it's going to Auto magically become the same shape, but now it will be yours per voxel view. So you don't have to worry about me getting in all your voxels and infecting them. Because that has happened. It's bad. So cool. I can see you guys doing stuff. It's awesome. So I know like where everybody is. <laughs> I, I love this. I just, I only, and I know they'll probably enhance it, I wish I could see the arrows. Like Kelly said, we can't see people doing tweak mode. Um, that would be nice to be able to see like, oh no, you need to drag it the other way, you know, or whatever. This is so cool. And everyone's going to see me being nosy when I come to their builds. They'll see me like, putting my mouse all over their stuff. Quit touching my voxels, cat! Can you delete the middle? Nope, nope, don't delete it, because that'll warp uh, the southeast corners. You're going to copy off the top and copy off the bottom. I'll show you. You're just going to copy off the top, sorry. And then you're going to mirror on the green axis and bring it down two spaces. So it okay. looks the same, but doesn't have the big block in the middle. One problem is you had it highlighted, and I thought I did. <laughs> and I said, no, it's like I, I was like, why can't I move my box? I want custom colors. That would be cool. This is I love this. This makes it so much faster. This is so cool. Like this. Put putty down in the middle of all those. Yeah, Shyla, just need to put those down below two spaces. It's doing to you what it does to me. It pops my selection way far away from where I had it. I hate that. I don't know why that still happens. It's such a quality of life thing that I really think needs to get fixed. All right, Shyla, just do move it down two, and then put putty. I'm assuming that Shyla moving that. It might be Hilani. I don't know. All right, now just stick putty in the middle. All right, so that's, if you want to template that, that is a perfect stretched macro voxel. It has no deformations, so there you go. If you want to use that ever, you've got it. Since I couldn't, I, I used the, the whole thing. Copy the middle big block out. Okay.
and we're going to make an L shape with it and I'll show you mine here in poop brown. I'm going to one space in between which is actually them moving two spaces over a bit. Okay. And you're just going to make them an L shape like this. Uh, let me face the direction you guys are facing. That will be helpful. I'll go this way too. <laughs> you rebel. Alright, so just to have them in a little L configuration like that. I love this. This is like so awesome. Be able to see people do stuff and I know they're on the right step. Alright, now we're going to use the line tool on the top of the ones on the left until it stops moving. So it's kind of hard to target within a voxel that's stretched out this big, but basically you can kind of see it and you don't want it to double tap on that same voxel, you want to actually draw to the next voxel so they're the same height and just keep doing it till it stops moving. And then once you've gotten them flattened all the way down on the top, you're going to do it on the left side of that L until they stop moving. I can even see your line tools. It's so cool. All right, and once you've done that, then we're going to take the line tool and run it across the front of the bottom of the L until it stops moving. That's the important part and it actually has a line in the middle of the face where the L connects, right? You want to make sure that's not there. That line was what was causing my quarter voxel to have a deformation. So you're going to end up with one you can end up with the L with like the rightmost part of the L being taller, the backmost part of the L being longer, and the middle one's going to be kind of squared off. It's going to be in the middle between all of them. And this is a handy way to make it because it can be, you can do it in different amounts and you end up with different sizes of offsets. Okay. So you want to run it along the front here, like that. You see where I put mine? Yeah. You just keep doing it. Make sure it doesn't have that triangular line. All right. Just checking. All right. So everybody's got theirs. Now we're going to take a regular voxel and put it in the air. I'm going to copy out this corner of the L, the, the stretched out voxel you made that's like where the two L's mark. And I'm actually going to just paint that because you can't see which one I've picked up. That's a one thing. All right, so you pick up the one that's green and you're just going to apply it to that regular voxel on all corners. You don't mirror it, you don't rotate it, you just glue it on the corners like you're gluing it on the corners. Fail. <laughs> and it's going to dent it in and uh, make sure there's make sure there's a space Right? If you, if you don't leave a space and you haven't actually put it on the corners, you put it on a face and it's not going to work. And you'll see that you get a grid that looks 
unless you mess up and don't put it on a corner like I just did. get that first corner down. Once you get the for first corner down, it's really easy to position them after that. And you can, in fact, copy and paste the whole lot on the next row. If you get the top down, all you can you can just copy the whole top and paste it down below itself. This is so much better than the technique I had with the line tool that I was going to show. And I, I don't know Timma's. I didn't actually watch all of his because um, he, he did a whole bunch of other tutorials with it and already have one, so I didn't, you know, need to know how to make it. But when they bombed my piece, I said, well, I'll try this short and sweet one here on the on the forums and see how it works. All right, Hilani, now that you've got that top four done, you can just copy them, all four of them. You can, you should be able to just paste it two voxels down. Don't don't mirror or anything like that. Should work the same. Or you can just keep pasting it all around on the bottoms too. And this should flip the ownership of the quarter voxel. It should all be completely yours. There's nothing been built on here. Uh, which one do you copy to surround the normal block? This one that I painted green right here. It's the corner where the L meets. And if you want to offset shape that's like more rectangular or slightly bigger, you use less line tool application. And that's all there is to it. All right, once you've put your grid all around it, when you copy out the center, you'll have a perfect quarter offset voxel that will behave right and won't have been jacked up by the patch.